Hey guys, I wanted to make this uh, short video to help those of you out that have been looking for a clutch holder for your Hunt 102 nibs for inking. Um, I was actually looking for quite a while and I had a really hard time trying to track something down, but I found a couple uh, of options that actually ended up working and I wanted to share those with you today. So if you're familiar with the typical, uh, you know, holder for a Hunt 102, it's these standard inexpensive um you know plastic nib holders where the uh the 102 nib just presses into the end of it nothing fancy uh but the problem that i've had with these is a lot of times the uh, uh the you know the press fit is so tight for the nib in there that uh it'll actually break off when um you're going to replace the nib and then you end up throwing away uh, this holder that's about probably, you know, I think they're about four or five bucks uh, and having to buy another one just because you're switching out a nib. So I wanted to get away from that problem. So I found a couple of options. Uh, the first that I tried uh, was this uh, Kawiko, I believe is the name of the brand. Um, I'll, I'll put it here on the video. But uh, this is, a, you know, a lead holder. And um, it has a, a clutch at the end of it that you can operate here on the back end. It works fairly well. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it's kind of short. So um, it, it, it's kind of stubby in your hand. And then in order for it to have a real good grip on the nib itself, uh, since the clutch is not a very stiff clutch and how hard it clamps down on the end of the nib, I actually would have to take a little bit of um, tape and wrap a little bit of the tape, uh, maybe just one time around um, on the uh, the exterior of the nib, and then it would have enough pressure to hold it pretty good. Uh, but that does work, and these are fairly widely available on the internet, and um, it's a good solution. Uh, the best solution for me that I found uh, was this Faber-Castell a lead holder. Uh, this one is called the uh, TK9400. And uh, this thing works fantastic. Um, it, it The uh, the grip from the clutch on the end of it is nice and strong. I don't have to put any tape or anything on it. It holds it, uh, it holds it very well from, um, uh, you know, just the, the basic clamping force of, uh, you know, depressing it in and out on the backside. And uh, I really don't have much of a complaint about it. If I had any complaint at all, it would be nice for it to be a little bit uh, larger in diameter, uh, you know, to be able to hold, because uh, it is kind of a thin pen, you know, pencil holder type, uh, uh, you know, unit. But as you can see here, if you compare it to this standard holder, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely bigger than the diameter of that. So, um, so you know, uh, for my purposes, this is working great. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, this is intended to hold a pencil lead, but uh, actually works perfect for, uh, you know, holding uh, nibs. Uh, again, this, I actually like the diameter on this a little bit better. It's nice and fat, but it's just not long enough. You know, when I hold it in my hand here, uh, the end of the pen uh, holder wants to you know, go into the, the crease of my hand here. So um, that combined with the fact that I got to put the tape on it isn't ideal. But if you can't get this, then I would definitely suggest maybe going this route. It, it saves you from having to deal with a lot of the headaches of this. So anyway, that's it. Hope it's helpful to somebody out there. Have fun inking.